Hey guys, Machines of Metal here. I just wanted to show you this product that I'm using. Uh, it's called Metalcast by Duplicolor. Uh, on this engine build, I'm just putting back together this old 12-valve diesel motor. If you've been following the channel, you'll know all about it. Anyway, I, it's worked out so well, guys, that I wanted to do a video just on the painting. Just on the, just, just the red paint that I've been using because I've been really happy with it. Um, uh, basically, it's a two-part system. They've got a primer, or a base coat, they call it, which is just kind of a silver paint. So I, I have a feeling you don't actually need to use this uh, base coat. You just need to use a like a metallic silver base coat. Um, and then they've got, this comes in different colors. They've got the top coat. The, this is sort of a semi-clear coat, guys. Um, it comes in blue, purple, green, red, there's a few other colors and it's relatively inexpensive they were under twenty dollars a can up here in canada eh? and this is this is kind of the finish that um comes off of it it's not bad now i'll tell you right now i've learned doing this that the prep well with any paint job prep is king when you paint with this stuff guys prep is king you can see here i had a little bit of a little bit of um paint over top of the aluminum and this product really highlights that. So if you want to do a really, really, really nice job with this, guys, you need to strip this stuff down. You almost have to sandblast it or have it acid dipped, completely clean, gone. And then there's a little bit of a procedure um, to get a nice, clear, shiny coat out of these two cans. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to do a couple parts on camera so you guys can see how this works. And if you decide to use this product on one of your projects down the road, I stand behind it. I think it's an awesome product. I'm going to do some more stuff on, on this truck and uh, we're probably going to use some more of this stuff to do those things. So anyway, I'm just going to get set up on a work table and I'm going to get a part to um, prep up and paint and I'm going to show you how this stuff works. All right, guys, so I found a part to do a little demo painting on. Uh, this is the thermostat housing from the 12-valve Cummins over there that I'm putting together. So what I went and did was just put some masking tape on the surfaces I don't want the paint to stick to. So I've covered up the thermostat housing flange and where the radiator hose and the little bypass hose connect. So what we're going to do first is we're going to throw on some of the base coat, this stuff, this metal cast. Like I said, this is just kind of a silver paint. I don't think that you necessarily need to use this for the top coat product to work. I'm sure you could experiment and try different colors, but this is what they recommend. And it's what I've used for some of the red stuff you see over there. And it's worked well. So shake it up and then as with any any paint you just want to throw on a very light very light top coat just a dusting um, you can get fancy with getting in all to the and all of the nooks and crannies and corners as you go but right about there guys sorry I got the camera in one hand and I got the paint in the other so it's not exactly a beautiful ballet of filming here, but you just throw a real light top coat on, oops, just like that. And now we're gonna let this sit and dry for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna throw a second dusting on here. Don't wanna go too heavy. All right, so we're going to let that sit another 10, 15 minutes. Then we're going to flip it over, do one more coat, and then we'll move on with our project. Okay, so that's another 15 minutes or so. Just going to throw one more little, one more little shot on this thing on this side here. Again, sorry about the, sorry about the crappy camera angles. I'm trying to paint with my right hand and uh, film with my left so it doesn't really doesn't really lend itself well to <clears throat> to watching through the camera what I'm filming versus watching over it and then filming the wrong thing so anyway that should be about enough guys um, 
got a good little look, there I do it again got a good little got a good little silver coat going on so what we're gonna do is let this dry for a couple hours now um, we're gonna put a little heat on it and uh, then we're gonna come back and start to apply the red uh, top coat all right guys here we are uh, half an hour later and now we got the metal cast top coat color coat and this is red anodized red now the trick i found after working with this stuff for the last little bit is you want to do like the lightest dusting of of top coat you can uh, multiple times uh, if you try and spray paint this like spray paint thickness worth of uh, application it's gonna run it's really thin and then what will happen is in all these these corners and these crevices you'll get a darker shade of the anno because it's thicker because it will run so what I like to do is shake her up and then basically just give it a That's it. Start with that, guys. No more than that. Right there, you can already see, guys, it's, it's come out thicker. And if I go any more, it's going to leave a run. And then down in that crevice, it's going to be a darker red. So it's not going to look like an evenly anodized um, part. So the nice thing is this stuff flashes over really quick. I think it actually says 10 minutes in that fine print right there. Um, it does flash over real fast so you can um, get your job done in a fair amount of time. Just like I said, be very, very light. See, see that shot there? That's almost too much. So that's it. Now we let that sit. We let that flash over for about 10 minutes. And I'll come back and we'll we'll do it again. So here we are, 10 minutes later. Now, same thing, guys, just a dusting. Make sure that just when you think you want to fire another shot, you don't. All right, then we let it sit for another 10 minutes. So guys, here we are again. You can see the, the anodization, anodization color is starting to work. Um, once again, that's it, just a quick dusting. Probably put uh, two or three more coats onto this thing and um, it should be good. So we're going to let it sit for 10 more minutes. I'll be right back. All right, maybe this will be one of the last times. Um, as you can see, we've been just very, very lightly. That's it dusting our parts on about 10 minute intervals guys no more than that I think one more application and we'll uh, we'll have her where we want her so again 10 minutes later you can see there's a couple spots on the backside that I've kind of missed so we're just like I said shake up our red coat that's it just a quick little dust and we let it sit now another 10 minutes kind of my painting montage if you will Turn it out nice though. You get some sunlight on that tomorrow, some daylight on it, and you really be able to see that thing light up. Anyways, see you back in 10. Light shot. 
and uh, I think that should probably be oops probably be enough there you go so I would leave it at that this part goes on the end over here it's gonna look really cool I'll um when I get the head back on, I'll snap a picture and put it on the end of the uh, on the end of the video. This is the other red anno spray that I've been doing. Um, again, prep is everything. Looks really good. Hopefully, be a be a show winner when I pop the hood on this baby. So, anyways, guys, that's how you use this um, metal cast product by Duplicolor. I like it. I think it's worked out well. I'm actually probably going to paint a few other things around here with some of the other colors. They had a, a green and a blue. Uh, there was about five colors. And I, I really like the way the reds turned out. So we're probably gonna end up playing a little bit more with this on some other projects. You'll see it in some of the videos coming up on the channel. All right, I'm gonna get back to installing this uh, motor in my truck. And uh, thanks for watching.